this this is utterly beautiful. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. Hope you are all having an amazing day today. Unlike that guy over there that's being shot. Where the hell is this coming from? I just hear a lot of gunshot. A lot of violence. A lot of screaming. Oh, it's going on right there. How fun. Well, today we're out here with this helicopter because we are going on a little bit of an adventure today to a very far away place, far away from this map. We're in fact so far that it is like two or three map widths, maybe even more, to the northwest of this map. If I just go and press start here, you will see, this is the map right here. If I go all the way west, northwest, right here, to this point of interest, you will find an oil rig. Quite interesting. So that's what we're going to be checking out today. I'm going to try and helicopter over there and check this oil rig out. It's something that I've always been sort of like, it's, a, it's one of these things that I think should just be in the game because it's just sort of like a really cool place. Because uh, the game that I'm thinking of is Metal Gear Solid that is on these sort of like oil rig type things out in the sea. I haven't played that game for a long time, so there might not be oil rigs, but I remember like these things out at sea. And I've always been fascinated with them, and they just make like a really interesting place. And it's something that I think GTA has been lacking, but someone has gone and made an amazing oil rig. So today, we're going to be flying there and checking it out. But before we get into all of that, there's going to be some comments and questions on the screen. If you would like your comments and questions featured, you can leave them in the comment section below. I'll pick some at random and feature them at the start of the next video. Don't forget, you can also follow me on Twitter at figure8 and you can also check out my brand new hobby channel by clicking a link to my new channel in the description below. I'm not going to tell you any more about that, but it's hobby related. Right, should we get into this thing then? Should we actually jump in? Now I'm in first person mode. I'm in a sort of like explorey mode today. Like instead of this being like the game, I want to try and make this as if it was like the character and we're in real life. So I'm going to try and do as much of this in first person as possible. I know some of you guys aren't really a big fan of that, but I don't know. I think it's going to make it a bit more immersive today, so here we go. So as we're spinning up and we're ready to go, I just want to give you a quick bit of information for those of you that actually want to download it and run this mod. You have to go all the way over to here to spawn it. Once you go over to this island, you stand there, you spawn it in with the map editor, and then you can go ahead and fly over there. I've already done that. That's how I've managed to place in the uh, point of interest all the way over there. In fact, I'm going to make it a waypoint now if I can. There we go. So now all we have to do is follow the waypoint. I will try and find if we could see if we can find like a better way of explaining this because it's quite hard to find. But if we just go up here. So we're going to have to go around this island, around the um, Mount Chiliad right here to the other side. I think it might actually line up with the road or at least the railroad. So we'll have to see. So we go around this corner, and I think if we were to follow that railroad that's down there and go straight, as you know, it does go off a bit. Actually, it does line up sort of with that railroad that we just passed, because now we're going to be going dead forward from here. So that's what you've got to remember. So there will be some things to look out for. There is supposed to be a boat, but I did nick it earlier, and I think it may have despawned. But you have to keep flying until you see a little boat. And then you go a bit further and then you'll see some fans or some turbine things in the water. You know, those are energy turbine things. And then further on from that, we find the oil rig. So I'm just going to keep flying in this direction. And in fact, I'm not going to edit this, but I will, well, I will cut this up and speed it up. But I'm going to try and show you the entire journey just so we can get an idea of just how long this trip is. And I've also tuned up this helicopter. This helicopter flies a lot faster than it should do. So... Even then, even with this much faster than usual helicopter, it's still going to take a long, long time. Okay, so as we continue on, I guess I should explain another thing. Uh, if you were playing this in normal GTA 5 and you were to fly out this far, the vehicles would normally die and you would die and everything else like that, but I have got the No Boundaries mod. I'll put a link to that in the description below as well, and that allows us to use these maps that go really far out. Now, right here, down below, you will see there are the three energy turbine things 
I keep calling them fans because of the blades, but I think they are energy turbine things. I'm sure there's a better name, but I'm drawing a blank right now. So this is how you know that you're on your way. So we're just going to keep going much further than that. And now, just coming into view, right there in the distance, you might be able to see these dark spots. There is the oil rig. It is seriously far away. And that is another really big selling point for this mod for me because it makes it really sort of... I, I don't know. It would be really nice if Rockstar was to have made something like this and made it this far away because it's just a really cool secret that you, you have to go really out of your way in a really specific direction in order to find it and that just makes it really special for me in my opinion as you can see there is the boat there we should have seen that boat early on but I did try and attempt to sail all the way to this but then after like five ten minutes I realized that it was gonna take a long time but if anyone wants to really get this like a, a, like really get involved in discovering this you could always sail but I would allow an hour because <laughs> it's it's, it's a long way, especially in a sailboat like that. It really was not fast at all. How about that? And here we are on the oil rig. Look at this. This is the fact that this is just so far away. In fact, even in real life, because these things are almost like miniature towns, aren't they? There's loads of people at work on them. They're right in the middle of the middle of nowhere in the sea. And I find, I'm just fascinated by the idea of that. But I do think that we could get a little bit more atmospherical. This might be a bit dark for some of you. If you're watching this in a sunlit room and the sun's shining on your screen, you might want to close the curtains, I think, because it's going to get a little dark. But I want to try and make this really atmospheric and cool, considering we're out in the middle of nowhere. So here we are. Look at that view. This is amazing. So, let me just turn down my headphones right now because I can't even hear myself talk. So, this is the first platform. Let's just go down here. Try not to jump. I want to try and do this properly. Should have taken the steps. So, over here, we've got a bunch of things. Oh, we've actually got a little uh, outpost here. There's a, there's a guy. Look, there's actually people here. There's all these radars which don't line up because that is definitely showing the city. Uh, and not really here, but never mind. There we go. And go out th we can't go out that door. We can only go out at this door. But the door even works. That's amazing. Then we can go around here. Oh, we can go around here. Is this another bit that we can go in? We've got this massive crane here. And then, no. I think that's going to be us falling over the edge. Look at that. Oh, my God. There's our boat. Our boat is just getting further and further away because of the waves. Right. Let's go. And, oh, my God. There's a guy down there hammering and working and stuff. This is so cool. I love this. By the way, I'm going to apologize about my throat and stuff because my throat is really shot. I can look through the door. We're on the inside. It is leaking. Just a little bit. We'll try and ignore that. <laughs> I just want to get this all nice and atmospheric and cool and stuff. So in here we've got... Oh, it's a toilet. There we go. There's a toilet. We've also got a little stocking area with some boxes. We've even got the thing, because this is like, people live here, so we've even got all the uh, washing machines. What have we got in here? This is, uh, I assume, like a shower. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. Not entirely sure. And then let's go down here. So we've got, oh, look, we've even got a guy working here. Oh, my God, he's just, he's not doing much, but he's working. We've got someone in here, all working. I mean, this is a really cold and dark-looking place. I would not like to live here. But all of these things, that there's actually there's some clothes on the floor. Look at the detail that's in this. This is amazing. Onto this one. Still rain. I mean, we're going to have to try and ignore that. It's a shame that obviously that the game doesn't recognize these things as being panels because it's all been modded in. But amazing. Yeah, I've got the guitar in that one. And then we've got all of his clothes everywhere. Picture of a person on the desk. Laptop. So damn cool. And then right at the end here, we have a little gym. And all their lockers. And stuff like that. Right, let's just go back out of this place. There is so much to see. This is going to be a long video if I try and take my time. So let's just get a move on here. Uh, how do we get down here? Here we go. 
down here. So we've got all this going on. We've got these guys working on this sort of like core drill bit that's down here. Oh, GH or oh, GAS gas. Awesome. I thought there's a GHS at the start. There we go. We've got people working on that. Standing there. Three guys. How many guys did it take to hammer a core drill? Three. One to hammer, two. Two to watch. It was a terrible joke. So we've got like little storage bits going on over here. Ooh. This bit actually has the change in sound. That's interesting. Right, well these these are uh, bits there. Then we've got this door going around here. And this is the bridge over to the next bit. I think that's the whole of that one done. So this is run over here. Look at this. Look at this view. Absolutely stunning. I love this. This this is like a whole setting for like a whole other game. This weather and stuff like that. If you can get some missions over here, this would be amazing. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Look at that sea. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. So let's just run down here. So we've got this bit here. Can this be pushed open? It cannot. Right, how do we get over there? I wonder if these ladders can be used. Let's have a C. No, they can't be used. Okay. So we need to go where? Not there. It's going to be through here. And there's... Oh, there's another guy. There's two guys. This is a nice little uh, spot. In here, we've got a bunch of nothing. Hello. I should probably, like, crouch. And get rid of my gun, definitely. And crouch, because it just makes it a lot smoother. On the other one, it's sort of a bit sort of sickening. Let's try and do this so it's nice and slow. There we go. That's better. So then we've got another massive crane right here. Then we've got all of these uh, storage tanks for fuel. All of this going along here. This is actually speed up a bit. We're going a bit too slow now. What have we got down here? There are so many places to go. There's like bits down here. Oh, this opens up. What's down here? There's, oh, this is the steps going up. There's also a bunch of stuff here. I am probably easily going to miss some stuff because there's just so much to see and so many different directions to go. Look at that. In fact, isn't this part of a boat? This looks very boaty around here. Wouldn't you agree? I don't know. This is something about, I think it's because of these um, lifeboat things, but it's very boaty. So can we get in from this way? There's a guy there. What's going on there? Looks like someone's welding. Why can't I see like a purple... Where's that coming from? I don't know where it's coming from. I think I'm just seeing things. Right, we need to get down here. Let's just jump over. Woo! And this door open? Nope. We need to get in another way. It's going to be up this ladder. That's got a bit of a gap, but we can get up there. So here's the roof. Here's the other helipad as well. Then we've got this thing here. Can we get into here? No. Nope. Okay, so we need to go down. And where... These are all closed. These are all closed. These can't do anything. Okay, I'm a little stuck. I might have to do a bit of glitching to try and see if we can get inside. Because I can't see where we have to go. Right, um... Yeah, I'm definitely lost. Right now, is it here? Is this how we get in? Oh, it is! Oh, look! Here we go, so we've got a massive cafeteria thing over here. We've got the little, like, kitchen area. Then we've got all of the drink stuff. Loads of vending machines around here. A couple of guys having a chat on their break. Getting very wet. This is a terribly designed place. And then around here, look at this. It would be a shame if the billiards table wasn't smothered in water. That is actually a little, little lake going on there. We've even got this going on. We've got a nice little cinema. This is... If this wasn't so wet, this would be pretty homely. And then, I guess that's it. In fact, let's just try and glitch through now. So we can try and see if there's anything that we're missing right here. Right, so let's just fly around. We've got... Oh, no, there is another bit. How do you get into there? How do we... Hang on, let's just uh, jump out of this. So this is the kitchen area. Got these guys all hanging out, cooking stuff. How do we get into this bit, then? Is that... Oh, there's the door. Oh! Right, I see. We'd have actually had to... Is this a door? It's not a door. We'd have had to climb over. But here we go. Big, massive, detailed kitchen. This is so cool. Is this door working? It's not. So that is the only way in. 
Right, let's just have another look around here. So then we've got this bit here, and that's going to be empty. I think we've actually looked at everything. I think that's everything to see. Yeah, I think that is everything, but there we go, guys. Get a load of this. Absolutely stunning. I absolutely love stuff like this. This is not even like a, a custom model map. This is purely just stuff that already existed in the game put together, which is what makes this really amazing. I think this is definitely, it's made out of like storage containers and I think bits of boat and stuff like that. Oh, should we go up here? I don't think we can actually uh, use the crane, which is a huge shame. Right, I'm gonna leave it there because my throat is incredibly raw. And we've seen all of it. I would definitely recommend checking this out. It is amazing. I've got so many more map mods that I want to check out. Some that are like this, that are like recreations from assets already in the game. And some are all completely new maps. All manner of different things. I'm just fascinated by custom maps in GTA. Because it's the sort of stuff, stuff like this, could easily be made by Rockstar and put into the game. And I think it'd be a really cool bit to the story if this sort of thing existed in the original game. There we go, guys. That is it. I shall see you all next time. Goodbye.